Hey guys, um, today I'm bringing this video to you. It's a collab with my really good friend Jamie. She has a um, mommy channel just like me and her channel is My Life as a Mommy. Um, she has, um, a, I think her son is like two or three months. I'm not too sure. I think it's two and a half or three months. And my son, Corey, which is right here. Let me show you guys. This is my fat mom. This is my fat mom. He is six and a half months already and he's gonna be right here on my side I'm watching him he's gonna be playing okay so we're gonna make a collab uh, of 10 tips for teen moms and I'm gonna do five and she's gonna do five she requested um she asked me if I wanted to do a collab with her and I was like yes because I freaking love Ben and I love her too so we're gonna do this I have my notes right here so these are my five tips and I'll link her channel down below so you guys could go and check it out and check out her five tips so the other half of the video and yeah comment thumbs up this video and subscribe and comment down below for more, more collabs and more videos like this number one my first tip is sleep when your baby is sleeping especially the first two weeks of birth like after birth the first two weeks your baby is all over the place like they don't have a schedule they sleep on and off and it's crazy the first two weeks and you're gonna feel like shit you're not gonna get any sleep at night so what i did actually what my mom recommended me to do was every time that my son went to sleep i would just take a nap with him um and when he was awake i was awake and i was taking care of him i was doing stuff around the house but when he would take a nap i would take a nap and that was the only way i was able to rest the first two weeks because he would not sleep at all through the night like he would wake up exactly every two hours through the night and one time he was up from five um not even from like 2 a.m to 7 p.m 7 a.m crying non-stop so every time he would take a nap i would take a nap you had that for sure because i can't do this it's like now i'm just kidding but you need your sleep you need to be energized to take care of your child so that's my biggest tip and yeah just sleep when you're ready to sleeping tip number two is to take take it one day at a time don't rush through everything take it one day at a time it's gonna be hard we're teen moms we're young we most of us don't even know what we're doing and to be honest with you it's gonna be so so hard even if you have experience with the kids if you are a babysitter before if you have nieces and nephew it's totally different when you have to take care of your own child that's 24 7 and that you know is dependent on you 24 7 it's so much harder because trust me i babysat my niece and my nephew since they were newborns like i was the one at the hospital with them when their mom gave birth and everything and it's so much harder because this is your baby you're the one who has to feed it you're the one who has to hold it you're the one who has to soothe it you're the one who has to wake up in the morning what are you doing like you're the one who has to do everything for them like you don't depend on anybody else they depend on you and you depend on yourself because there is nobody there for, for you to be able, like be like, care by and give them your baby like that's your baby your responsibility take it one day at a time take it slow you don't think that you have to do everything in one single day because you don't you have all this time that you can just ease through it ease through it don't rush don't fill up your mind with stuff be like oh my god i have to get this done i have to get this done you don't just take it slow you'll get it done as the time goes on um number three tip number three okay so um don't be afraid to ask for help us <laughs> what are you doing us teen moms like 
we since people judge us and they tell us we can't do nothing and that we can't do this and that we can't we do that we take it as like i don't need your help and i'm not gonna ask for it because i can do this on my own we know you can do it on your own but sometimes you're going to need somebody's help. Sometimes you're going to want to go somewhere. You're going to want to see a shower. And you're going to want to do this. And you're going to want to do that. And maybe your baby can't be there with you. So you're going to need someone's help. Like, don't be afraid if you're struggling. Like, me personally, I went to, um, I went through postpartum depression. And it was hard. Like, it wasn't the type of depression where I didn't want to see my baby, where I didn't want to be with him, where I didn't want to touch him or anything. It wasn't that type of depression. It was the type of depression where I was mad at myself. I was angry with myself always. I was sad with myself. Anything that would happen, I would blame it on myself. And, like, I'm barely getting through it now. Like, I still get sad and I don't even know why I'm sad. Or I get mad and I don't even know why I'm mad. And it's horrible but you know i'm so thankful that i'm able to tell my mom like mom help me please can you hold the baby for, for a little bit while i go take a shower while i go relax a little bit and i'm so thankful that i can t say that to like um, his dad's mom like i could just call her up and be like yo can you help me up like can you pick um Corey up for me and because i'm not feeling good i'm not feeling too good and she'll pick him up i'm so thankful for all that stuff and, and yeah like don't be afraid if you have somebody that's willing to help you don't be afraid to ask them for the help because on the long run it would be so much like you're gonna love it like seriously you're gonna be so thankful for it tip number four this is so important guys stay in school doesn't matter if you're in school and you get pregnant stay in school finish your school could it be college or high school i'm still in high school i'm in 12th grade and i graduate this june i got pregnant at the beginning of my junior year and i went to school till i was 33 weeks pregnant i my whole junior year i was pregnant and i stopped going to school the week after final exams so the week after final i didn't i only didn't go to school the last week of school because we don't learn anything they don't give us nothing and that week doesn't count and it wasn't even a whole week it was like three days like the last three days of school i didn't go and i was like 33 weeks pregnant so you just have to put in your mind that you can do it. I put in my mom that I, that I put in my mind that I was not gonna drop out of school. I was not gonna be a deadbeat mom. I'm not saying that the moms that drop out of school are deadbeat, but I put to myself that I was gonna show that the statistics weren't got, like, not all of them are true. Like you know, just because the majority like they say that the majority of teen moms drop out of school and they go nowhere in life like that's not a lie if you do decide that you can't keep going to high school i suggest that you do there's so many options online schooling homeschooling there is um or you can get your ged and pick like you have so many options but get your high school diploma that is so important in life not just for you but you want to provide a better future for your child because you know you could get a better job you can go to college you could get you could get a better job you could provide better for your child and that's more important stop thinking about yourself and the stuff that you can't do think about oh i need to do this because i want my son to be able to do that you know i want my son I want my son to be a I'm sorry. He's like all over the place. Okay, I want my son to be able to graduate college, graduate high school, have this awesome career, and be this independent man that, you know, and I don't even know what to say. Like, I'm getting teared up, but not like I'm so serious. You need to do better so your child could do better. Don't think about yourself and think about your child and your child's future. Come here. You want to be in the video? Yes. Okay, so, yeah. Don't think about yourself anymore. Think about your child, and it's your child's future. Your future is their future. 
So if you decide that you're you're gonna drop out of college, you're gonna drop out of high school and not go to school anymore, just forget about school and not do nothing with your life, what is your child gonna think when they grow up? Oh, my mom did it, so I don't have to go to school either. And I bet you you're not gonna want that. You're gonna want your child to have a, the brightest future that they could have. So that's my tip number four. And so tip number five is you can do it your goals are still approachable this one connects with the last one if you want to do it you're going to be able to do it it's all in your mind if you set your goals you can have 10 kids and you're still gonna get there it's gonna take you a little longer but you're still gonna do it i enrolled for college when i had my child my mom told me oh, you're not gonna go to college your your life is done everything is done and i showed her wrong i was in the honor roll while i was pregnant and i was going to school i was in the honor roll the whole year i was student of the month the whole year last year and this year i'm not doing so good because i'm like missing a lot of school because he's been sick a lot but i'm still getting good grades a's and a's and b's and i am ahead like I leave earlier than everybody else because I don't need the extra periods like I don't need the last period of the day I only take seven periods which is six classes because I have lunch included so I take six classes in the day meanwhile everybody else takes seven because I don't need the extra credits because I'm already done with them because I already did them before and I'm enrolled I got accepted into college I start college September so I did fall 2016 I'm going to college I'm going for my nursing degree and after I get my nursing degree well I'm going for general science and I'm gonna get my general science um, degree and after that I'm going for my RN I'm doing an accelerated program for my RN so and then after that I'm planning on doing my cosmetology license because that's something I always wanted to do so you see your goals are in your mind if you set your mind that you can do it you're gonna be able to do it right now i'm in high school and i work on the weekends and i'm providing for my son and i'm making a better future for him you know you just have to put the effort into it and your mind into it and don't like don't let people bring you down don't let people tell you that no that's not gonna be you're not going to be able to do that because your son like because your child or you had a, a child at a young age you're not going to be able to provide for them you're not going to be able to give them a better future like you're not going to be able to give yourself a better future you're not going to be able to like finish your school or start college or do this or do that or get the job of your dreams it's all a lie you can do whatever you want because if older people could do it why can't we do it just because we're younger like that's bs if someone else that's in their 20s and they get pregnant and they could go to school and they could do this and they could do that you could do it too okay so just put your mind into it and yeah um, always remember my five tips are one sleep when your baby's sleeping two take it one day at a time three don't be afraid to ask for help four stay in school and five you can do it your goals are still approachable Thank you guys for watching comment like subscribe remember to check out the description box because i'm gonna link um my life my life as a mommy's um channel down below so you can see the other half of the video and check out my other videos i'm starting to do vlogs every other day so stay tuned for that i'm thinking about posting tuesday thursday and saturdays so stay tuned for that and yeah thank you guys for watching say bye baby bye sweet boy say bye baby sweet baby <laughs> bye guys